you have two options. Is your accomplice guilty? Or not guilty? You have two options. Is your accomplice guilty? Or not guilty? If you admit that your accomplice committed the crime and he says nothing of you, you get off a free man. If you say nothing and he says nothing too, one year's imprisonment for each of you. However, if you admit that your accomplice committed the crime and he says the same of you, four years for the both of you. But if you say nothing and he admits that you did the crime, ten years in prison for you, my boy! Naturally, your accomplice is faced with the same decision. The same principle can be applied to a game of football with the prisoners replaced by a goalkeeper and a striker taking a penalty. Right, mate. You have two options. You have two options. So, you either go to the corner or go straight down the middle. Or, you can just stay down the middle. If you shoot to the corner and he stands in the middle, 91% chance of you scoring from that. If a striker shoots straight and you dive to the corner, he has an 83% chance of scoring. However, if you shoot to the corner, he reads you and also dives to the corner, you only have a 59% chance of scoring. But if he shoots down the middle and you stay down the middle, he has a 0% chance of scoring. Let us consider this situation from the point of view of the striker. We can draw a payoff matrix which shows all possible outcomes for the probability of scoring a goal. Suppose that the probability of the striker shooting straight is P. We will assume that both players are equally wise, therefore the probability of the keeper staying straight is also P. Since there are only two options, the probability of either footballer aiming or diving to the corner will be 1 minus P. We define X to be a discrete random variable representing the probability of scoring a goal. Its probability distribution can be found from the matrix. We can calculate the expected value of x in terms of p using the formula shown, which tells us the average probability that a goal will be scored. We define alpha, beta and gamma as the statistics, so that they can be adjusted if necessary. We can represent the probability of scoring as a graph, noting that p is between 0 and 1, since it is a probability. From the graph, we see that the striker is most likely to score when p is about 0 0.25. The exact value can be found by setting the derivative to zero and solving p to be about 0 0.244. This means that the striker should shoot straight about 24% of the time.